Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my husband in the kitchen today, full time, making his favorite treat for the holidays, banana pudding. Now, I have a recipe that we're gonna be using. It came out of my first cookbook, volume one, and we're gonna make one change to the type of cookie we're gonna use for it. But if you still wanna use that cookie, you can certainly do that. Okay, are you ready for this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay guys, grab some bananas and let's get started. Yeah, we gonna get fancy pants on this one. <laughs> yeah, but it's still gonna be very easy to put together. But it's fancy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put him to work. <laughs> We've got eight ounces of cream cheese. Now you wanna put this in a large bowl like what we have right here. Now, if you've just pulled it out of the refrigerator like I did because I forgot to pull it out earlier, you can just stick it in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds, which is what I did because you really don't want to run your electric hand mixer through cold cream cheese. So warm it up just a little bit. So I'm going to have Thomas here beat this. <laughs> and he's going to have real a lot of fun having to do that. Yeah, because it's been bad. <laughs> okay, so he's going to beat this and get it nice and creamy and fluffy. Just All that right. by itself? Just that by itself. Just... Okay, to the cream cheese, we're going to go ahead and add 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. That's the yummy stuff. That is the yummy stuff. Wanna get me a spatula? We didn't come with our tools this morning, apparently. You came unprepared. <laughs> I did. Cold cream cheese and no spatula. All right, let's get all that goodness out of there. Mm-hmm. Thing right there. Okay, next we're going to add a five ounce box of vanilla pudding mix. This is the instant pudding and pie filling mix. Now this follows my recipe in my first cookbook. Now Thomas grew up with banana pudding. Oh yeah. And I did too because that's what my dad really loved was banana pudding. So um, you always had it with the Nella wafers? Yep, yes. always with the Nella wafers. I did too, but we're going to be doing it with a different cookie today. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and blend this until it's all well combined. Good enough. Okay. All right, that looks really good. Okay, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Mm. You got to, right? More she vanilla. Want to add a Okay, <clears throat> I've got three cups of cold milk. Now, while he is beating this up some more, I'm going to slowly add in the three cups of milk. Yeah, you make it sound like a bully. Okay, I've got eight ounces of some Cool Whip, which is just a whipped topping, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Cool Whip. And he's gonna blend that all together. Cool whip. It's a little, still a little frozen, but we're gonna beat it all up with a hand mixer here. Now we just want a really thick consistency once we're done beating this up. Now what we're going to do is take four bananas and we're going to slice them up. She won't let me play with knives. No, I think I'm going to pass this on to him while I get everything else set up. No, All right. You said I can't play with knives. 
<laughs> You're not playing with the knife. <laughs> you are working with the knife. There you go. Three more bananas. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna build this thing up. Now, we have both grown up with Nello wafers being the part of the layers there with the cookies. Yep. So we're gonna do something different today and we're gonna be using these Chessman cookies. Now we've never had these before and they're sweet and simple cookies. They look all fancy pants. They do look fancy, don't they? You should see when it's finished what it's gonna look like. You gonna give it a try? Ooh, I get to eat one? Why not? Grab a broken one. <laughs> Yeah, a few of them were broken in the package here. Now these are the Christmas style, so it has like a Christmas tree, a, a wreath, candy cane, and a bell. So how cool is that to put on your table for the holidays? Mm. What do you think? Different, good? different than a vanilla wafer. Vanilla wafer, yeah. Yes, different, but good. If they're a good cookie, yeah. Okay, so far so good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have him layer these cookies in a baking dish. Now this is a little smaller. <laughs> Why is he laughing? <laughs> this is a little smaller than a 9 by 13. So we should be able to get four and five going this way. So about 20 cookies laid flat. And then I'm going to try to get him to make sure that these are facing all the right way so it looks really pretty. Oh god, you're actually going to make me work. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> Now it's time for the banana slices that Thomas did here. So we're going to make one layer of these across the cookies. I think the best part about making banana pudding is the making of it. Yeah, that's where you're wrong. That's the best wrong. part is eating it. You know I'm right, guys. What we're gonna do now is ladle half of our vanilla pudding mixture here over the bananas. Now I pulled this out of the refrigerator to kind of keep its shape while we were layering the cookies and the bananas so it didn't get too soft. So Thomas is going to layer. You want to use the ladle? Well, that would make not more sense. That. <laughs> He's going to ladle the mixture over the bananas here. And then what we're going to do is put another layer of bananas, the rest of the mixture here, and then we're going to top with the cookies. Layer them again. Me, yeah. I know. Okay, guys. What kind of banana pudding do you like? Do I follow the kind of same recipe that you use? Oops, that one fell in my mouth. This recipe is my mom's recipe and I've had it for quite a while, ever since I knew my husband liked banana pudding when I first married him. My mom gave me this recipe to use for making banana pudding for him because she would make it for us when we came for Christmas. Yep. And so and he really loved it. The only difference today is the cookies. That's it. All right, so. I'll ladle some more onto yep. that. Ladle some more. Ladle it all. I thought we... Fill it up. All of it? Yep. Except for what I'm going to get to <laughs> eat out of the bowl, right? All right, I'm going to keep an eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure he doesn't have a separate bowl somewhere. Yeah, that's enough right there. <laughs> and then here's where his decorating skills are going to come into it. Because we want four different designs of cookie going across and then down and over the whole thing so it all looks very symmetrical. Decorating skills? Yeah, okay. I'll be watching. <laughs> you ready? He's not ready. He's going to sit here and stir this up for quite a while. Yeah, all right. That look good? That looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Now, make sure they're facing all the right way. I don't want them upside down and backwards. Which way do you want them facing? <laughs> like you're looking at them and they're... Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have started with a bell, huh? <laughs> okay, so just remember that this recipe came out of my first cookbook. And 
this was the picture of what we first made. That's how Thomas usually likes it, in a bowl, buried deep with all these layers. So um, the book, the, the cookbook, I'll show down below in the description box. It's, you can also find it in my blog. And if you go into my recipe blog, you can also find this recipe. So whichever way you wanna find the recipe. Okay, all right, we are completely finished with that. Can y'all see that just a little bit? We don't want to like... Yeah, we don't want to pour it out. Pour it out. <laughs> okay, we're going to set this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to fully set. It's jiggly. <laughs> to fully set. And then we're going to try this for you and see if it lives up to the vanilla wafer banana pudding. <laughs> Here goes our first bite. Mm. The crunch of the cookie, the banana, and then that smooth filling. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? That's good. I'm not going to say, but I am going to say, I kind of like the cookie better than vanilla wafers for some reason. The cookie stands up better to the pudding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have that crunch. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. And the cookie's more buttery. It held up really firm in the refrigerator. Mmm. Mm. Put this one on your table, you guys. Alright. Give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I guess you have two thumbs ups over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comment down below what your favorite dessert is for the holidays. We will see you on the next episode. Bye. Mm.